Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of this month. How are you guys doing? Energies are extremely high right now. Extremely chaotic. We are being a little bit challenged, that's for sure. Okay. All right, Aries. So in regards to love and romance, the energies that are currently influencing you is Neptune and Mercury. As you guys know, Mercury recently went into retrograde. Uh, so anything that has to do with communication with your partner, um, there may be some delays in regards to that type of communication uh, or the person of your interest. Now, Neptune has to do with dreams. It also connects uh, with imagination, with memories, ideals, anything that has to do with, uh, you know, even enchantment. So there may be some delays in regards to that. So as an example, if you've been feeling a little bit off or you've been feeling um, a bit challenged in the way you communicate, you may find yourself being a little bit irritated or be quick to irritation. Um, and it all has to do with these energies. Now, you may be dealing with the Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Capricorn because we do have Virgo and Capricorn here. But what they're saying here is you have to be patient with the energies that you're going to be experiencing all the way to the end of this month. Um, this is, speaks very highly about being cautious or being careful not to jump to conclusions. Uh, as an example, if there's some type of miscommunication or misfiring of communication, um, your partner can try to evoke some type of message or some type of communication, and it comes off a little bit aggressive to you. Uh, don't take it personal. Again, uh, communication is going to be a little bit off. But what they are saying here, you do have two signs that are earth energy. So you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn. But um, on a grander scale, what they're saying here is that you need to be a little bit more grounded, okay? So you got to make sure that, uh, like I said, don't get so irritable. And if you find yourself uh, experiencing that type of energy, then ground yourself. So it could be as simplistic as looking into a candle looking at the flame, trying to uh, really uh, put your intention and focus to that. Uh, and that's going to help you center yourself because you are fire element. Um, but what they are saying here, again, uh, with Virgo and Capricorn could be that, again, you're, you know, being greatly affected um, by these two signs. That's if you're not dealing with someone. There's a lot of healing that's happening. You may be dealing with your partner or the person of your interest that they, you know, kind of pull back and seclude themselves and then they come back around and try to communicate with you. Be patient with them because they are going through a healing phase right now. Um, and this could be your partner as well. If you are married, uh, you may feel like they are uh, being a little bit antisocial and it has a lot to do again with the planet alignments right now and the fact that they are there are certain things that the partner or person of your interest is currently dealing with um, that is to do with suppression of past experiences or suppression of uh, lessons that they learned in the past. So that could be why they're drawing back and then coming back, pulling. It's a tug and pull type of energy. So again, be careful, uh, be patient, and more than anything, try the best you can uh, to keep your temper on check. Now, the messages that they're telling you um, here uh, with, these, um, with these cards is prayers, feline, and intuition. So whatever your intentions is or whatever it is that you've been putting out to the universe in regards to this connection or to this person of your interest, with the feline, this is the animalistic side to you. There is, uh, again, with, you know, with your energy you could be ex experiencing a little bit like being and this is not to come off as like you're overly aggressive but you could be very sexualized in the way you communicate yourself with the feline um and prayers and intuition next to it what they're saying is try to balance that out especially if this is a person that you're really interested in you don't want to scare them off or make them feel like you are just trying to conquer them um 
with the prayers, this is a person that perhaps uh, has some type of soul tied to you, or they are meant to be in your life at this present time. But again, we have to, we, we cannot um, suppress, but what they're saying is try to balance out your animalistic side. So what I mean by that, it could be aggressively pursuing the person. It could be aggressively talking about sex all the time or making jokes about sex. Uh, you don't want to come off as someone that you're just looking for that. Now, if you are looking for that then and you don't care how they perceive you, then that's fine. But all you're doing is really pushing them away because you're kind of turning them off by being too much, like too bold, too much in their face. Now, you also have intuition here. So intuition is going to be a major part in this connection. Um, so what I mean by that is if you feel like they're drawing back and you're wanting to give them their space, that's fine. If the next day you wake up and you feel this need to want to communicate, uh, do so because you're going to be showing them uh, that there's more to you than that of the animalistic side to you that you can actually perceive or feel when they are in need or they need some type of communication or, or them themselves need some type of grounding. Um, Again, intuition is going to be a very important um, important focus for you for the remaining of the month. And this can also be connected to finances. Uh, really listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs that are being given to you. Because I feel that right now uh, with uh, all the energies that are coming out and the influences that are around you, uh, there could be some type of delays, but it doesn't mean that it will not manifest or it doesn't mean that it's not going to progress. But what they're saying is be mindful about uh, when you're being pulled to act, to take action. Okay. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.